Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Culture Shark, and we are back today with another video, and I got to thinking, right? I got to thinking, will the Colts miss Rocky Sin next season? Rocky Sin has, you know, he's had his ups and downs as a Colts player, uh, and I think in general, he's he has raw talent, and he's developed that ability over the years as an Indianapolis Colts. Now, when he first got there, it was very rough. It was very rough. I think it was a lot of... Uh, you know, self-inflicted uh, issues with Rocky Sin. He couldn't. He wasn't disciplined enough at the beginning of his time in Indianapolis. And now, you know, going into the uh, the next season, I rooted for Rock. I feel like I was one of the only Colts fans, and I know I'm not. I'm just saying in general. I think I was one of the only ones that was really believing that Rock can take another step and be better than he was the year before. And he has. Rocky Sin has improved tremendously over the last season and he's gotten so much better at staying disciplined and playing actual corner uh because it's a very hard position to play corner especially being young in the nfl going up against top talent playing the pacific zone uh and then that, that that scheme that we ran it was very hard for rocky sin to try to stay disciplined and playing football because when he came out the draft i mean he wasn't it wasn't a high ceiling for rock when he came out the draft of course us drafting the corner was like oh okay but when you looked at the cornerback room it's like Okay, you got Xavier Rhodes, you got Kenny Moore, you know, he's a nickel, so he really but he doesn't play man coverage. You got Isaiah Rogers, you got Rocky Sin, you got TJ Carey, but Rocky Sin, since Marvell Tell wasn't there, Rocky Sin was up there. I feel like Marvell Tell definitely could have took Rock's space if he was healthy and was on the roster. I feel like Tell could have definitely been there. But him not being there, they rock go out there, you know, next man up is the rule. And next man up, Rock Sin had to go out there and play some decent football. And I think Rock has definitely improved over the past two seasons. And, I mean, it's unfortunate he had he had to get traded. But we had to go get Yannick Ngakwe. We had to get we got to get some edge rush. We had to get some pressure. So we went and got Yannick. Uh, and, of course, the sacrificial lamb was Rock Sin. It hurts me still to this day that it had to be him to get moved. Uh, it could have been anybody else. Uh, I didn't know Yannick. I didn't know Yannick was going to get moved for that. And uh, you know, being Rocky Sin, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, the Raiders took a chance out on Rock, willing to sacrifice Yannick uh, and Brandon. Uh, but you know, going to get Rocky Sin, I think he's going to have a very good season in in with the Raiders, man. I think he is. You know how he improved over the years in Indianapolis. I feel like you know. I think we just let him go too early. I, I really do. Uh, it could be. You know, a kick in the butt for the Colts. It can come back to haunt us because we always see the Raiders, uh, especially if they play us. I feel like he's going to come out with one of those games. But you, like I said, uh, the Colts, are they going to miss him? Probably not. And this is what I'm going to tell you. Acquiring pass rush or edge rush, which is one of the most important pieces on an NFL team. You got to get pressure and attack the quarterback. And I feel like if you do that and you force a QB to do something crazy, like maybe throw an interception or, you know, throw something dumb and, you know, somebody can go get a pick, the, everybody's going to eat off the pass rush. If the pass rush gets to the QB, anybody can eat. Isaiah Rodgers can take the next step up. Kenny Moore can have a flash out season. Darius Leonard can have a great season again. The safeties, if they can stay healthy, if Julia Blackman and Kari Willis, if they're out there, they can have a good season. The guy, Brandon, that we just traded, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but if we got him from the Raiders, you know, he was on and off the practice squad for them. He actually played a few games last season, but he can step into a Rockets and roll, and he can look to, you know, get his role increased, and that's why he's here. He, he's looking for a bigger role. If he can step up, he can pretty much replace Rockets in, and it looked like we didn't even need Rock at the end of the day. That's just my opinion. Of course, I'm going to miss Rock. I'm, I'm a big Rockets in fan uh, because I rooted for him. Even though the Colts fans didn't, they couldn't stand him in his rookie season. They couldn't stand the guy. They said, get rid of him. This is one of the, this is a bust out the draft. Yada, yada, yada. This dude's not disciplined. Always getting flagged. Stop holding the wide receiver. And the year after, he just heard all that talk and progressed his game. But I think Brandon can definitely step into that role. As, or if we go get another veteran corner. We can go get another veteran corner. The free agency market is still open. There's still a lot of talent out there. And as plus, there's a lot of guys that can fit the Gus Bradley system that can work as well to replace Rocky Sin's production. But like I said, will we miss him? Probably not. But I do wish nothing but the best of luck for Rocky Sin because I feel like he can go and have a really good year for the Raiders next year. They got some nice talent over there. They added Devontae Adams with Derek Carr and all those guys. They still got a decent defense. 
I feel like he can have a good season, but I feel like the Colts can have a good season as well because they upgraded what they needed to upgrade. The free agency is still not over. The offseason is not over. The draft didn't even happen yet. I feel like we can still upgrade a few pieces to finish the production of what we need to do. I think that's what we got. I think we can get it done. I really do. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section about Rocky Sin. Uh, will the Colts miss him? How do you think he'll do with the Raiders? And what do you think about the cornerback room for the Colts? Who should we acquire? How do you think the edge rush is going to uh, look like season? All these things in the comment section. Let me know. This is Marcus. And until next time, you've been Culture Shop.